welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining that how to downgrade from windows 11 to windows 10 without losing any kind of data and application so if you recently switched to windows 11 but not satisfied and you want to revert back to windows 10 then i will be sharing the best and the easiest method that you need to apply so right now you can see i'm on my windows 11 so the very first thing that you will have to do you need to create a windows 10 bootable usb now i'm not going to share the steps here because i have already created a video you can check that video create a windows 10 bootable usb and then you will have to start the computer with that particular usb so what you can do you can shut down your computer or you can restart you need to start the computer in the bios mode so you can use the bios key like delete f10 f8 escape so you can search on the google and once you come in the bios you need to change the boot sequence or the boot priority and then you will have to boot with that particular bootable usb i'm using a virtual machine so it's showing me like this but depending that what kind of motherboard you are using your bios can be different anyway you will have to boot through the usb once you have booted the windows 10 setup page will be loading up so once the setup page comes up you have to click on next click on install now now if you know your product key then you can enter here or simply click on i don't have a product key now here you have to choose your addition i will go with windows 10 pro then you have to click on next check the agreement box click on next click on custom and now this is the most important part where you have to be very careful and make sure you do not make any kind of mistake so what you have to do here you need to find out the partition where your windows 11 was being installed the so partition one is not my os drive because it's only 100 mb partition 2 is also not because it's only 16 mb so on my end partition 3 is the one where my windows 11 was being installed so you also need to select the same partition where your windows 11 has been installed select it and then you have to click on next so now here you can read it says if the partition you have chosen contain file from a previous windows installation these file and folder will be moved to a folder name windows.old so what basically we are doing here we are overwriting the windows 11 with windows 10 so you will not be able to access windows 11 but you would be able to access all the file and application that you had on your windows 11 okay so simply click on next or okay and the installation will now be started. All right, finally, Windows 10 has been installed now. So you can access all the application and all the data that you had on Windows 11. So in order to access the Windows 11 files and application, what you will have to do, bring up the file explorer. Then from the left in menu option, click on this PC then you have to go to local disk c and now here you will find that a folder has been created by the name windows.old so basically this is your previous version of windows 11 and all your data will be saved here so what you will have to do double click on windows.old then you have to go to users click on the username that you had and now here you will find all the data that was on your desktop download music pictures videos so you can just save all the data from here once you are done then you can go back and delete this windows.old folder from here so this way you would be able to switch from windows 11 to windows 10 without losing any kind of data and application so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye